Hello, my friends. I am so glad that you press play on the video today. I know that your family has so much going on this time of year. I also want to say thank you so much for getting in touch with me and letting me know what time of day this is fitting into your schedule. I almost have like a halfway split. Half of you are doing it in the morning before your day gets started and about half of you are doing it in the evening as you're getting ready and going to bed for the night. I love that so much. Thank you for meeting me. Oh, it's the very best. So today, our devotions title is The Tree Topper. Hmm. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Matthew 2 so that we can read verse 2 together. Matthew 2, 2. So go ahead and press pause. Grab your Bibles, get them open so that you can have your eyes on them too. Maybe in your house or, or in your classroom or maybe in your daycare room, you can choose one person to read along with me. Or you know what? You can even mute me and you guys can just do the, re the reading on your end. Ooh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead. You guys get yourself all set up and when you're ready, press play again and we'll read it. Matthew 2, 2 says... Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. Now, if you looked at the verses before or after, you know that these are the kings, aren't they? The kings who came to visit Jesus, came to worship Jesus. And now, here's what our devotion says about these verses. Lights bathe the tree in festive warmth. Ornaments hang from all the limbs. Garlands weave its way among the colorful memories of Christmas's past. The time has come to place the crown upon the head of the family Christmas tree. Will it be an angel to represent the angel Gabriel or the host of angels who announced the baby's birth? Will it be a star to remind us of the star of Bethlehem? Whatever your family chooses, it seems to be just the right thing to pull the whole tree together and finish off the perfect Christmas tree. You know, tree toppers are not the only things that point to Jesus. We do too. Our words and actions are like tree toppers. They show others what we value in life and what is most important. We wear our faith like a tree wears its topper. Others see Christ who is in us as we live our faith. That's an important thing to remember, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So now here are the three things that we do to end all of our devotions together. The first thing is our family discussion. Have you ever talked about your Christmas tree topper? Does it have any special significance? Does it need to be replaced? Hmm. And our family activity is this. Think of a Christmas symbol that means a lot to you individually, and then make a topper for yourself out of paper so that each person has a paper crown. And now my very favorite part, the time when we get to pray together. I'm going to get us started and then you guys finish after the video ends, okay? So let's go ahead and fold our hands, close our eyes, bow our heads, and think about Jesus. Lord. Thank you for making yourself known to us. Just like the tree topper can point to you, help us to point to you as well, especially when we 